Hello my friends, my name is Ibi and welcome back to Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer. But this is 0.52 because this is my Mordor campaign. So, episode 44, the big 4-4. Four four. We have an exciting episode for you today. It is the defense of Kirith. Or, no, I'm not going to try and say it properly. I've been learning this, but I, I'm too shy. I'm too shy to say it yet, in case I make a mistake. We're defending the mountain with Danmuz the Moller, King Kuri the Good, and Baragor the Merciful. So let's have a look at the armies we're against. Uh, the faction leader, actually, is, is coming against us. Now, the only thing that really worries me here is their siege equipment. Because their siege equipment can do a lot of damage to us and to them. But uh, there's like three catapults, two ballistas. Not too fond of that. The rest of them, I'm not really too worried about. And then, the other army, Bagro the Merciful, or Baragor, sorry. He's just got a lot of generals. They're kind of worrisome. He does have some good elites. But and then again, it's just the ballista that really kind of gets on at me a little bit. Hopefully, we'll be good enough to hold out for a while. As you can see, my army is pretty good. We have some trolls, some halberdiers. They're going to be our main force. Uh, some archers. We also have a catapult, so that is what I'm most excited about. Our own catapult. We can do a lot of damage with it. Uh, so I think I might cut bits out of the battle because I think it's going to take the enemy an eternity to reach us. So instead of uh, talking around and just waiting and rambling on, I'll uh, push the episode back a little bit more. Oh, here we are. So this is... Wait. What the hell are we? This is where we want to be, because this is where our town square is, once the camera decides to, yep, yeah, become a little better. Can they get in through this way? No. No, they cannot. This army will probably not even reach us. By the time they get there, they won't really reach us. So I'll do, yeah, I'll set up my army. Oh, yes, also, this map is really weird. It won't let me set up my troops properly. Oh, can we put down stakes? No, we can't. Perfect, 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 perfect. Let's put our... Oh, it's gonna be like this until all our guys are here. Um, I'm just gonna like put everybody inside. Come on, load. You can do it, game. I don't know why, but it just does it for this battle. And it takes an eternity to move them across. Okay, so that's everybody there. Yeah. So when we start it, everything turns to be a lot better. So... Oh, we can't have men... Okay, so we can put our guys like that. Put them on defensive mode. And then we're gonna have our two guards... Which are gonna kinda like overlap them like this. So that will be them. And then we have our. No, 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 no. Group, please. Thank you. We have our secondary line, which can sit back. Our infantry, which can sit there. Our Sauron's will. Cavalry can sit at the back just because so can the trolls they can sit back here kind of relax a little bit and Then we'll put our bodyguard at the back and our archers are already pretty much in good in good location But uh, the whole point is to hold hold this bridge as, as well as we can now I'm really it pisses me off that we can't like Yeah, let's do that Make the line a little bit longer. Oh, the bridge is going to be a pain. But as you can see, if we can block off this whole ridge, the enemy will have to spend a long time trying to get in. In fact, they're going to take ages just to get to this point. So, you guys are, are honestly doing my head in. Or is it better if we just kind of overlap them? Yeah. I'm going to overlap them. 
put them there. These five halberd ears, I don't know what to do with them. But okay, now I'm gonna fast forward it until the time it comes. But, uh, it's gonna be a fun fight. The only problem is we can't get our cavalry out of this area. If we leave them here, they're stuck here. But then again, I don't know where else we're gonna put them. Because the enemy will just come after them. Uh, and let's go see them before I do that now. So they are firing at our gates. I don't know if they'll drop them when that's over, but uh, I'll fast forward it now. We'll see how it goes. They're not coming in through here. That's good. They're just not doing anything, are they? Ah, they're waiting for the gate to go. So, okay. I'll fast forward it. I'll speak to you guys in a minute. Okay, so just a quick little update. But they're not here yet, but uh, they have left their siege equipment outside, so I'm very happy. I am elated with that news. It means that they're just sending their infantry across. So, oh, camera, no, please. Let me, okay, thank you. So, as you can see, they're just going to send their, their infantry, which is fantastic, because that means we're just going to smolder them with boulders of death. So I'll uh, cut back now until they come and not show you the ceiling of whatever this is. All right, so I'll see you, okay, never mind. I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> okay, guys, I've paused it just at the moment of time. Are you ready? It's been less than like 30 seconds since I last paused it, but uh, whoa, no, 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 no. That was completely anticlimactic, my fault. But we're not here to see the, well, Dale Cavalry just go to their doom. We're here to see the dwarves die. And here they go, the boulders of doom. Oh, these are Dwarven Warriors. We'll go for the Axemen of Erebor. I have some Baltok Engineers as well, or Blacklock Engineers, sorry. Our archers firing into them. The Dale Cavalry cannot bypass us. They will fall. In fact, not much of the clock has gone down, so this is going to be an interesting battle. But um, their men are just so far away that... Uh, Come on, give me one good hit, right in the middle of them. You can do it. Ah, oh, just don't go off to the side, please. There we go. Oh no. I just want one good hit. Oh, look at them, the Axemen of Erebor. That guy looks like a general. In fact, he really could be a general. You never know. If he was the, um, the general's unit, that would be fantastic if he just got hit right in the face. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Oh. Oh, it's so inaccurate. Oh, oh, yes. There we go, guys. There we go. Dead dwarfs. Crispy burnt dwarfs. Get them right now. $5.99. Dollars. Not pounds. It's too expensive for pounds. <laughs> The British pound is too expensive for a snack such as crispy dwarves. Yeah, there we go. 2% gone like that. Sorry if they're clicking annoyed. Uh oh, okay, well don't hit my men, please. Don't hit my men. We can't have them hit our men. I'm gonna have our Uruk Halberds kind of like push them back a little bit as well. Here comes their general. Well, it looks like their general. I don't know if it is, but uh, it looks like their general. Oh, no! Okay, stop. Stop. S stop. No. <laughs> oh, we just crumpled our own men there. Archers, fire. Well, we are killing a lot more of them than they are killing of us. They don't have very high offensive capabilities. Oh, hit the Baltok engineers. Because all of them will kind of stick there in the area. This is a general, I can tell you that for sure. Let's go for them then. They're going to try their hardest to push through us, but they will not prevail. 
And if uh, it comes to it, our last ditch attempt will be try and escape with the cavalry. So, <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Here we go. Are you ready for the next barrage of boulders? And they were pitiful. Ooh, they might know they were pitiful. Ah, oh, that got some good kills. Come on, come on, hit them, hit them. Pull them back, pull them back. Almost certain. How is defeat seems almost certain. We will hold them. Yes, there we go, fantastic. Okay, go for them, Dwarven Travelers now. We could honestly push them back with our, uh, with our trolls. The trolls will go in once they are tired and once the Vault Wardens have reached us, really. We'll move our guys ever so closer. Yes, there we go. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Just crispy dwarves everywhere. Nice. Something changes in the course of battle. It's a battle now. A battle to the death. Unfortunately, our catapult will run out of uh, steam. But we'll hopefully kill some more of their units before then. Oh, well that was a nice hit. That brought them down to less than 100 men. Dwarves, even. Our men are holding as well. See, they don't have a good they don't have a good enough striking capability, the dwarves. They've got a very high defense, but their attack's not very very good. So, they will win a majority of fights due to their armor, especially against evil factions. But when it comes to a well-armored, well-prepared evil army like Isengard or Mordor in the later game, they struggle a little bit. So, which I'm glad about because I don't like struggling. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I love catapults. They, they really brighten up your day, don't they? And today is my birthday, of course. I'm recording this on my birthday for the weekend, so. Or you might not even see it this weekend. It might be the next weekend. So, that, that might happen too. Are we gonna be firing some of our rotting meat? Bling them. <laughs> uh, there's just blood and guts everywhere on the field of battle. Oh my god, wow, we're not doing very well. We, we might have to cut in for some of our other troops. Our uh, Loki Camp Rim are doing fantastically well, but uh, otherwise, not really. I don't think that the Rotting Head can kill them. Or maybe it causes some sort of poison damage, but I uh, don't think they do too much damage. Yeah, their archers are pretty much useless. We're about halfway through it now. Their cavalry are honestly trying their hardest to just wiggle wham through us. It's not going to work, though. We've thrown everything we have at their front line. If only we could take out their, their bodyguard, it would be good. But I'm waiting for their, their archers to stop. If their archers stop, then that'll be good. I think they are almost done. We've only lost 24%. They've lost 27 So maybe we could lose this. It's a defense to the end, though. We will last. Hold them back. Hold them back. Push them back. Out of the mountain. This is our home now. Look at the amount of them that have died here. Ooh, we got a nice overhead so we can see that the general area here is where they're pushing in. Fortunately, none of the Dwarven noblemen are dying. And the Uruk bodyguard seems to be going in for some reason. I told them not to do that, but they did it anyway. The dwarves are stubborn, though. They will hold us for a very long time. However, a lot of them have died, and they are becoming tired. I need to wait for the perfect time to uh, swipe and go in. We'll put it on times two, just so it's not going to be too long. Something changes in the course of battle. The defeat seems almost certain. Okay. 
Now, because they don't have too much of an offensive capability, once this happens, we'll, we'll send in our, our trolls. But the trolls will come in once the, most of these guys have died, which is fairly soon, actually. 32 for 30. That being said, half of their army's not even entered yet. How long we got left, though? Mm, oh, not that long. What well, seems like we're pushing them back. There's not very many of them left now. Let's send the trolls in. Against the noblemen. If we can find a clickbait order on them. Ah, there's too many of them and they're too... There we go. That was a good order. Look, you can see what looks to be like their king. They will lose a lot of heart if we if we kill their, their king. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, <laughs> yes. Kick, smash. Destroy them. Push. Push them back. Do 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 do. Bum 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 dun dun dun. It's kind of like this is the dwarven music, and we're we're completely just bypassing it. Ah oh, yes, look at them, so epic. I hope you guys give this video a like just for the pure awesomeness that's going on in it. This fight is one for the ages. Look at them! Look at the trolls! The trolls just cleared their way through these guys. The Iron Guard. They're just absolutely smashing their way through. They're on to 38% now. We lost one of our units. Oh. Did not mean for our own general to be there. Can we break them? Break them! If we can kill their general, that would be the creme de la creme. Yeah, they're, they're absolutely being slaughtered now. We must be killing a lot of them, 41%. Not to mention that half of their army is still out there, just not even entered on the field, so... It's the general we need to go for. Just look at the death and carnage here. I'd love to see the numbers. Where is our... Oh, our Sauron's will. They are cutting their way through. You see the dwarves? I don't know what's left of them. And I cannot find their generals for the life of me. Death everywhere. What's that? Ah! Uh, ah! I found, fell down an even bigger hole. Is that a dwarf nobleman? It is. What's coming through? Nothing. They, they've not even reached us yet. So, okay. I, I really should not put the camera away because it, it really does just jar everything. Oh, look. The general's been smashed into the corner. There's nothing left of this army here, actually. Kill them. We will hold. Oh, we've lost one troll. Damn it. I hate losing trolls. It's like losing children. Poor, disgusting, massive, ugly, disgusting children. Alright, here we go. Where is their... Where is their general? We've, we've absolutely smashed this, this unit. 
And there, there's no, no general. Like, where are they? Go for the Iron Crossman. And then let, uh, because they, they are, yeah, they are killing us now. Where is he? Did we push him, like, out of the thing? Come on, hit them. Hit them. That nobleman's there. Send in the cavalry. Can't find him. It'd be a shame if we didn't kill any of the generals because they just weren't around. Okay, we're into their missiles, so they really shouldn't be firing anymore. The, a, a general definitely entered here, and he should be dead. He's right there. He's right there. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna send our ten troll back. Kill them. Do as I tell you. They'll, they'll, they're just going to charge without warning, aren't they? Come on, kill him! Kill him! He's being stabbed to death by lots of different pikemen right now. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay, right, fine. Get out of there then. Do as I tell you. They don't respond to attack orders. But they respond to move orders, so that'll have to do. Yeah, the dwarves have been completely crushed. 52% of their army. Where is he? Someone died in a giant abyss. Okay, who died? Who died? King Curry the Good, we slayed the king! King Slayer. Maybe I'll name the episode something like that. We've done it, guys. We've completely batted them through. Oh, they're routing now. This is fantastic. I love this. This is one of my highlights. Let's get back across the thing. Let the cavalry do their job and deal with whatever's left. What is left? Nothing. And that's really it, actually. I'm gonna let our our guards come back. Now, I need more of these guys. These guys are fantastic. They've outlived our halberdiers by so much. We've lost, like, yeah, three of our halberdiers almost. Whereas this just one unit has lasted the entire thing. And they were at the front as well, so... We need more of them. The hell? Lol? How the hell did you end up down there? That, uh, that's not really supposed to happen. I can tell you that now. Okay, stop looking at the sky. Okay. Okay. Go over there. Go over there. Oh, they get trapped down there, though. That's not a good thing. Hopefully they can run up a very vertical mountain. Yeah, they, they won't move now. Ah, so I found a bug. That's not good. Hopefully we can win before then. Or, or our, uh, <laughs> our southern lancers are gone. Oh no, the phone! You'll hear the phone. It'll ruin my recording. 
it stopped. Okay, it stopped. Come on, timer! Come down! We've definitely won, though. We've definitely won. Like, there, there's no way. There's no way they can do this. And they've been too badly defeated. We've lost 42% of our army, fair enough, but 54% of them have been killed. Just from our our push, actually, with our, our trolls. Aha! The camera works now, probably. So you can see the death, the carnage that was left. Just, you know, once the trolls came in, they, they really leveled the playing field. And we just pushed them so far back. Back. All the way here, and as you can see, there's like almost no... Yeah, none of us died here. This is all dwarf. Just crispy, burnt dwarf. And uh, so yeah, we've, we've won now. We've clearly won. But I'll, I'll show you this and I'll talk through it because I think... There we go. That's the two-minute mark. Three-minute mark, sorry. They're coming round, though. They're actually coming round. I wonder if they'll hit our lancers. I can see them. I can see them. I can see the bloody goddamn smoke effects, the particle effects, the dust, the dust. That's it. The dust. They're coming. Very slowly with their short, stout feet and legs. We've done it. An average victory. An average victory. Are you kidding me? We killed most of their army. This was their big army. Look, they've only got like, oh, 1,200 men left. And I don't even think that's enough to beat us. So let's have a look here. Look, casualty sustained. Yep, Uruk halberds and the Uruk halberds, they lost a lot. But, and they didn't really kill that much. The Uruks did. And the... Oh, yeah, Loki Gamprim, 84, but they killed 58. That's not that great, actually. <laughs> to be honest, none of them really did that well, though. The catapult killed 363. 363. Fantastic. And the trolls? The trolls racked up. Mm -mm. They have earned their place. Trolls are amazing against dwarves. Because, as I said before, dwarves have a high defensive stat, but their attack stats really kind of meh. It's not that great. So they can last long in a fight, and their morale is locked, but they... But they cannot do very well outside of that. So, we've taken this. Kirich Gathol. Because it's like orcish. The, the KH makes the sort of like um, ch sound in orcish. So, Kirich Gathol. I think that's how you should say it. I've gained courage from our victory. Enough to maybe pronounce something horribly wrong. Let's see what the Hadram wants. Had Haradrim. Mission expired. Oh, yes. Erebor falls? Holy fuck, we took out the dwarves. We've taken them out. Can you believe this? Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. Voice. We've just done it. We've just taken over the, the dwarves. They had an army Welcome that was arms, going to take over Dale. And now he's just a rebel army. Same with Eskaroth. It's been just taken out. Oh. I look forward to fighting with you. Because I don't know how, but some sort of regicide has killed them. We must march. We must march quickly on their lands. They had like dwarves coming over here. We've just honestly, we've just destroyed them. Get ready for and we had to uh, leave Erendolin. So now we can march them back to Erendolin. Dwarves of Erebor in the Hard Hills, gone forever! Praise the sun! Oh, yes. Sorry, that was a dance gaming thing. Um, let's just go. Let's just keep going. Yes! Yes, I'm happy with that. So bloody happy. We don't even need to defend here anymore. We just annihilated them. I've not played this campaign for ages as well, so... We're making our way to Mythlond, and I did tell you guys, as soon as I get the ring, should I walk all the way back? And you guys were like, no. So I'm going to teleport my army back once we get the ring, because I just don't see the point in 
having to take it all the way there. Why are you in my lands, dwarven man? Isengard will fall in three turns. Four turns. What's going on here? Oh yes, Thorodrust. We're gonna lose there. We have a small army that's coming along. We're gonna probably lose it, but we'll take it back with that army. And there's another army here. But I think... We have armies that can come now out. Yeah, we have armies that can come out now. <laughs> We're gonna come and take it back. So don't you worry. Sounded really creepy there, didn't I? Very creepy. This army's like full. So they can wreak havoc. They, I don't know what they're gonna do. They might attack that, that place there. If they attack us here, we can defend against them as well. But I want to push back out towards that settlement. We probably shouldn't have, have attacked Enidwyth just like that, willy-nilly. I have three invasion armies, though, so... Yes, you... You guys are on the way as well. It's gonna take you a long time to get there. And I bet you by the time I get there, right, the ring will just have gone. The ring will just have gone. Yeah. I can probably take the trolls out of here. We'll see what they do with Captain Luglak. But this is their last two provinces. Once we do that, Isengard has been taken out. Oh, you can also chase him down. So, let's see. Anywhere else that I can do? I need to do a mass building. Well, buildings if I can build places. Places. I just messed all of that up. I will try and build things. I'm too excited after that that win. I mean, I'm very, very surprised that we even managed to take out the dwarves. Like, I cannot believe that. Kingslayer. That'll be the name of the episode. Oh, so fantastic. Daffoda, Sirith, Ungol, Baradur. Just recruit out of our eyes right now. I've never seen a campaign where I've been this organized with everything. There are like armies coming out of every orifice of the horrible faction that is Mordor. Get ready for fighting. Including this backup army, which is very good to help us take down the dwarves. We don't need to sit in Kirith Angol anymore. Kirich Gathol. I need to say that right. Uh, let us uh, leave a unit of our pikemen behind. And um, we're going to march straight to the uh, Erebor, if we can. We need to hurry, though, because we, we want to take these places fast. And uh, let's end the turn, I think. Forodrine. We're doing well. No idea where the Vale of the Anduin are. Up there, I take it. Which is fine, because if they come near us, we can see them. Yeah, end turn. I think we're going to get attacked. I think we're going to lose here, which is fine. This army will come take it. These two armies will... This one might get attacked, but that's where I'll end the episode. And I'll do some stuff offline, I think. Yeah, we got kicked out of... Uh, of Erendolan. And attacked by a random army. Oh, they've come back for blood. Nope, we cannot win that. Yeah, I knew we were going to attack here. We can defeat these guys easily. I don't know why they're, they're putting this as such a, like, a, I don't know, a hard victory for us. Moot Keepers, they have some Grey Flood Riders. We could lose this, but I don't think we will. But anyway, I'll leave this for the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I absolutely, thoroughly loved playing this. Give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be back to bring you another episode very soon. So that is me, signing off for now.